Hello, welcome to Musher's Tales. So a brisk day, uh, minus 18 or something. Uh, going to uh, make a little video uh, showing you uh, what I do every day when it's time to feed the dogs. A little bit of a meat chopping. So uh, the planning for the meat chopping starts in the morning because the meat's at the uh, same temperature it is outside right now. Uh, it was eating, I took it out of the freezer in case it got warm yesterday. So it'd be warmer than the freezer, but uh, I predict it's probably colder than the freezer. So uh, this is what we have. Block of meat, which I have to, uh, block of meat like this lasts me two days. So I already talked about the meat in another video. So it's kind of one of these little twist kind of things. Great thing with these little uh, twist loops uh, is I uh, got to whack it in two, and after I whack it in two, I uh, bring half of it in the house. I should have, uh, I say it lasts me two days. Uh, it lasts a little bit more because I usually have about three pieces left over, and each dog gets a chunk depending on uh, on the dog. You know, small dog, small chunk, and depends on Siberian eats less than Alaskan. Some of the Alaskans I have are uh, they got some greyhound in there somewhere. They're really, you can't fatten them up. When you, even when you fatten them up, they get a belly, but they, they don't get, uh, they still, they're still on stilts and everything. So that's just the nature of the dog. Just like certain people, no matter what, uh, no matter how much they eat, that's just the way they stay. Well, it's the same thing with dogs. So first thing is, is to whack this in two. Bags always, the bags always stuck. They're stuck. There you go. And it's divided in two. So if I hit that right there in the middle, I'll have two chunks. Yeah, that's the whole. There you have it, two chunks. So uh, bring one of these in, the other one stays out till tomorrow and leave it in the house all day. And at the end of the day, if I remember, I'll, uh, I'll show all the chopping up of it. I cover it up, but uh, not really, because uh, often enough, chickadees and nut hatches will come peck out of the bit, which I don't mind. Especially when it's cold, I like nut hatches and chickadees. So there it's going to stay for the next uh, well, five, six hours. It'll thaw a bit. So uh, it's the end of the day, around three o'clock in the afternoon. Things have thawed a bit, even though like there's still snow on it, but it's going to be a lot easier to chop. So uh, we'll chop it up.
dogs are starting to get a little noisy, they know it's supper time. Murphy, no. So, nothing fancy, Canadian tire racks, been going for a while. First thing is we'll cut it in two. Like this is a, a pretty big piece. I don't, I don't know where it is. It's well over a pound. Now. This is for like the smaller females, like Summit. Summit and Sephira there, that's all kinds. I want to get three pieces out of this one. Let's 
That's it. So. Oh, this one here. Probably get four pieces. Four big pieces. This is a big piece, and if I hit it right, hit it right there, I should have some nice pieces. There we go. It's a big piece. This is like a really big piece, but if you have somebody like, uh, I don't know, like Cub, like Chester, or like Riggs, actually it's a little bit too big. I'll eat that easily. There we go. Oh, well, there's tonight's supper. Got the cleanup crew waiting right here. Good dogs. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Till next time.